Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Science and Technology Minister Derek Hanukom has formally launched the first dish of the country's Meerkat radio telescope array. Senior Deputy Editor Keith Campbell joins me in studio to discuss this development. Hi Keith. What is the significance of this milestone for South Africa and the rest of Africa? Well, as you yourself said, it's a milestone. Uh, Meerkat is probably the biggest scientific project ever undertaken in South Africa. Uh, when it's completed in about two years, it will have 64 of these dishes. And it's a complex, sophisticated instrument. Uh, all these 64 dishes will operate together as one. So there are very important control um, capabilities involved. It is a, uh, a, a significant achievement in electronics, uh, in science, in technology and engineering for South Africa. Uh, for the rest of Africa as a whole, it's a more indirect uh, benefit. This is probably the biggest scientific project ever launched uh, by a African country, uh, certainly in the modern era. And it has clearly uh, attracted a lot of enthusiasm uh, in at least some other African countries, uh, eight of which have joined South Africa to become partner countries uh, in the, the square kilometer array. Uh, Meerkat, by the way, is designed, intended as a precursor to the International Square Kilometer Array Radio Telescope Project. And will in due course be integrated into the SKA which is going to be co-hosted in phase one by Australia and South Africa and in phase two outstations will be put into a number of other countries including the eight African countries that are South Africa's partner in this. And what is the aim of the project? Well Meerkat is a major radio astronomy project. It is intended to do what is called frontier science in astronomy. That is, it's intended to discover new things and to increase our knowledge about uh, the many phenomena of which we know exist but we don't understand very well. But as I say, it will also provide information on things we do not currently know. It will find things uh, that we do not currently realize exist and will greatly understand, uh, greatly strengthen the understanding of the universe, the history of the universe, the structure of the universe and as I say uh, in due course it will also become part of the square kilometer array. And what is the next step for the project? Well the next step is uh, a test phase. The plan is uh, this is the first uh, uh, antenna, dish antenna. Uh, a, the second one will also be erected and then these two will be tested thoroughly. Uh, the, all the systems and subsystems will be checked, the integration will be checked and once uh, Square Kilometer A South Africa, the organization responsible for Meerkat, uh, is uh, satisfied that the dishes work to specification and have the, the right quality, the right standards, then uh, they will roll out with the, well, for want of a better word, production of all the components to the remaining 62 dishes to complete the entire 64 dish array. So what falls now is an intense period of testing. Minister Hanukom also launched the Meerkat Array Processor Building. What does this comprise? It includes a power conversion uh, facility, it includes uninterrupted power sources for the dishes so that if there's a power cut from the national grid it will not affect the operation of the telescope. Uh, it includes uh, the processors that will process the data from the gathered by the dishes and it includes a laboratory uh, 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 facility for uh, astronomers who may be visiting the site and may want to work from the site. Normally it's going to be controlled from Cape Town 
but there may be occasions when, when people will want to be on site. Now, all these activities generate radio frequency interference. So this building is designed to contain it so it doesn't leak out and does not uh, interfere with the dishes. So it's below ground level, provides some screening, and then the processors, uh, the, the laboratory, for want of a better word, where the scientists can work, uh, other things are screened, that is, they're basically in big metal boxes so that the electronic activity of the processors, the computers, even the lap, even laptops, is kept inside uh, these rooms and kept inside the building. Uh, the, the technical term for this kind of metal shielding is a Faraday cage. So the building contains a number of Faraday cages to keep uh, the electronic and electrical activities taking place within the building from leaking outside. Great. Thanks for the update, Keith. That is the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.